Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the TMJ Show. Today is episode number five and we are talking all about how to minimize your step one burnout. Let's get into it. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Thank you for showing up for this fifth episode of the TMJ Show. If you are new, uh, my name is Lux. I am currently an internal medicine resident that's been helping people just like you succeed on their medical journey with less stress. So if you're listening to this on your podcast, make sure you subscribe for weekly um, podcast episodes and if you enjoy the content then make sure you drop an honest review on either iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast and each week we're going to be looking at those individuals that have left a feedback and giving one lucky winner um, either a free ebook or a video course of their choice from our website. If you're watching this on YouTube in a video format, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below, either a question for this video or a topic and question for a future podcast episode to also be entered in that weekly giveaway. But let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about burnout, step one, how to avoid it. It's common. I know a lot of you guys probably have had it or experienced it or have heard horror stories. And even myself going through my very first week of dedicated prep, I didn't know the right things to keep in mind. And so I had to learn the hard way. We're going to give you three tips in today's episode, which is brought to you by my step one masterclass, which teaches you three different discoveries that I made during my dedicated to help me get a 250 plus and help a lot of my coaching students do the same. So if you guys are interested, that's going to be in the show notes in the podcast, as well as the description on YouTube. But let's get into the three tips to help you minimize burnout during step one. So tip number one is to start and end your day with the lowest threshold task. And this is basically a fancy way of saying, find the thing that's the easiest thing for you to do and begin and end your day with it. This may be the easiest study technique. This may be the best resource that you enjoy doing and put them at the start and end of your day. That way you feel like your step one prep started and ended on a good note. For myself, it was something like flashcards um, or things that are enjoyable, such as watching a sketchy video or a pathoma video. You may have something totally different, but make sure the two ends of your schedule where you're gonna feel the least motivated and the most burnt out being the beginning and the end are accounted for. I promise that if you do that, then waking up every morning isn't gonna be so hard and getting to the end and doing that very last task is also gonna be doable. Now tip number two is to be strict with your clock out time. Now if you're a seasoned listener of the MD Journey, you know my concept about the clock out time, which is basically find a time each and every day and saying, I can study up to this time, but after this, I'm absolutely done. It may be 10, 11, it may be 7 p.m. For your step one prep, I recommend putting the clock anywhere from seven to eight and saying, you know, I'm no longer gonna study after this hour, even if I'm running behind, I'm just gonna mingle things around in my future schedule. But this gives you enough time to relax towards the end of the day without going to bed, you know, immediately after finishing your step one prep for the day. So have a clock out time and be extremely strict to it. Tell other people, you know, if you have a significant other or family member or a friend, tell them, hey, every day I need to stop studying at seven or eight or 9 p.m. I need you to give me a text and make sure that I'm not studying. Keeping yourself accountable to that is gonna help your overall well-being, and I promise you that that extra hour or two is not gonna lead to improvement in your score. Now, as a bonus tip, since we're speaking about schedules, is to be flexible with yours and understand that if you wake up in the morning and you're groggy, even though it's 8 a.m., and that's supposed to be your wake up time. I prefer that you get an extra hour or two of sleep. That's exactly what I would do. I'd wake up at seven or eight, because those would be my wake up times in my schedule. But then if I wasn't motivated and I was more tired, I'd go back to sleep and some days I'd wake up at nine or 10. But that extra hour or two definitely allowed me to get through the rest of the day versus trying to push through and not really being able to get a lot in terms of retention from what I was actually learning. So make sure you value your well being um, over the strictness of your schedule and be flexible. And as another bonus tip, because I'm gonna keep them coming at you guys, is to have a little bit of a buffer between your different step one tasks. So if you're using first aid and doing some U-World and your typical time slot would be from nine to 10 and then 10 to 10.30, give a little bit of buffer between each task. So if something goes a little bit over time, um, it's not gonna screw your whole schedule up. And that way, if you sleep a little bit more, it's still going to be okay. And my final tip for you guys on how to minimize and decrease your burnout and stress during step one is to have a running list of everything you feel really comfortable with and keep adding to it. This may be a Word doc, an Excel sheet, a written thing if you if that's what you prefer, um, but keep a running list of everything you feel like you've mastered. It may also be like checking off things as you go through them in first aid. Just having some form of visualization 
where you can say, this is how much I've mastered and learned over time, instead of focusing on everything that's still left to be done, um, can really give you a little bit of motivation to keep going. And again, you need that confidence more than you need all that knowledge going into test day, because sometimes a lack of confidence can cost you more points than a lack of knowledge. Um, so keep those in mind. But those guys were three different ways in addition to some bonus tips on how to minimize your stress and burnout rate during step one prep. Now, obviously, if you want more, then first, obviously, check out the masterclass that I've created for you guys on how to succeed and get a 250 plus on your step one without the stress, the doubt, and the burnout. So I'll be talking about three more discoveries that I made during my dedicated prep to help you as well as many of my other students. So definitely check that out. That'll be linked in the show notes down below Below, as well as a description down on YouTube. If you're listening to this on YouTube and you made it this far, please help your brother out and go ahead and like the video as well as subscribe to the channel. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, make sure to enter yourself in that weekly drawing by giving some feedback and honest review on either iTunes, Spotify, or Google Podcasts. Remember, it doesn't have to be a five star, although your boy's not going to complain if you do. Um, but any form of feedback is advantageous for me to help improve as well as grow as this podcast and the team. MJ show. But thank you guys so much for attending this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends.